quarantine setting, uh, so that you don't have to go into the actual room with a hazmat suit. Uh, the robot arm so there's feedback the control on that. Location. If I like to push that way, it will compensate. So you can imagine this would be like in a box, and so there would be a wall circuit. divided. You can put the cover the four modes, the as you can see, it's rotating right now. And then you would have a sterile bottom and move it into the middle of the room. So it prevents nurses and doctors probably to take the time to trouble going through it with the stores. So we're in mode one, which is space rotation. Uh, essentially, all it does is it takes um, um, different different signals. This is the uh, uh, Julian. It's not connected to Davis. See his biceps. Uh, and as you go through it, sure. it, uh, it signals high. Uh, we can adjust the threshold without a uh, potential. The right There's one for each yeah. arm, so you can adjust it independently for people who don't have yeah, large muscle mass. Right now it's in standby mode, it won't actually move until it's present. But then that tells it to start looking. Or it should be. I think it's actually yeah. hooked up right now. Would you like instructions? Oh, we actually have no instructions. All right, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can see when the green light goes on, it goes up. That just tells us that it's Davis flexion. Very there you go. So, why is that moving? Okay. Right on, works so well. Is it close up to the camera? See the active feedback there? Motion. See the feedback. So it'll light up as we do one, two, three, and then if you do over six, because there are six functions, the red light turns on and just sits over the doesn't do anything. And the we have it set so it waits five seconds and counts. Um and so the 